Cracker, my smackers. It's your girl Star Yay, bringing you another video. You guys, today I am having crab legs today, but guess what I did? I made a seafood board myself. And the seafood, the, the bag, this is the first time I ever did it myself, you guys. So I am so excited to bring you guys this video. And I am so excited to um to taste it my first time making this video, you guys. I don't have it burning up there in a couple of days, but uh, sorry. <laughs> In this bag, I got this. Big sausages, you guys. Ooh, ooh. Oh my god, I got so much juice. <laughs> this is my first time doing the job, so I got some potatoes. Oh, I got some shrimp too, you guys. first time doing it so this sauce is just like my sauce that I make because like I said I can't use a lot of regular sauce because of the sodium in the sauce so I um this ain't nothing but some like um this is lemon pepper and butter that's it this is lemon pepper and butter you guys I got some corn got some nice crab legs I got an egg So, what's been cracking, my smackers? What you guys been up to? I hope all you guys been well. Hope you guys been staying prayed up. Oh, this sauce is so delicious, you guys. I got me some lemons and some limes to go on them. You guys, y'all see my apron I got made? My apron made. This actually, this apron is for my um for my hair product, but I just wore it today because I'm eating these crab legs. I got another one coming for my YouTube station. But um, uh, you guys, let's get this back in first. First, we gotta pray. Father God, we thank you for the food that we're about to receive from the next our soul. In Jesus' name, Father God, we ask you to um let every nutrient of this body go. Of this food go to the proper part of our body. Father God, in Jesus' name, we ask you to bless anyone without food with food. So, you guys, um, amen, amen. So, you guys, uh, I hope I enjoy this because I haven't tasted it. This is my, like I said, this is my first time making this, and I tried to make it with less sodium if I could. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, I like it. And right here, I just have a nice little Caesar salad. They, um, they gave me this with it. But you guys, you know, this is my favorite sauce. So, I think I might put that on there. Mm -hmm. I got my cup. And I got some life water, you guys. And I'm going to put in my cup. So, how's the weather? Where you guys at? You guys, it's snowing out here. I don't know if y'all can see it outside. But it's snowing out here, you guys. You can see this is all white. So... And one of my plants, this plant, I, um, when I was cooking, I was cooking for, I think it was New Year's, and I had opened the window, you guys, and I made a mistake and left it open. And my plant got a little frozen, so my baby had that, but I'm going to bring it back to life. So I just got some life water right here.
Okay, you smackers, let's get to smacking. So I really ain't been doing nothing much. It's not much to do, you guys, since everything was locked down. I really don't want to go outside like that because people not doing what they're supposed to do. So, this <laughs> corn mm, sweet. Mm. Sorry. Come on, you guys, here's your bite. <laughs> Yes. So you guys, I got some sausages. I should have fried them first before I put them over in the bag. But this is my first time I'm learning. And I got these shrimp, that easy peel. I got all this stuff from um, Sam's Club. I'm trying to get used to eat stuff without a lot of salt. So I'll be using lemon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is good. The sauce is good too. And like I said, um, <laughs> it's not, it's not salty. I'm used to eating salty stuff. I I used to eat a lot of salt, but like I said, my blood pressure. But um, it's delicious still. It's still delicious. I just still got to get used to it. Now, I had went to the nail shop to try to get my lashes and my nails done. But it was so many people out there, y'all. It was so many people up there. And they take people as they come. And you have to write your name down. I think I told y'all this before. And you have to write your name down to get, you know, um, to get your nails down and then they'll call you back and all that. I ain't, I ain't had time for all that, y'all. I uh, And we having a blizzard right now, so I went the other day, but oh, I got some regular butter right here too, y'all. And it was a lot of people. Then I tried to go today again. I ain't trying to be a lot of, around a lot of people, y'all. Mm -hmm. I'm beginning not to like crab leg season. I like them more just playing with the regular butter, I think. Tell me that like, oh, you don't like your seasoning. <laughs> It's not that because I didn't try a lot of other seasoning. And how are we so salty? And the ones I do like that I really like the seasoning, it'd be too salty. Like I got one that I make. And I had people tell me that I need to um, sell it. But it's too salty. But people be like, okay, it's too salty for you. You need to sell it to everybody else. But I don't know if I'm going to really deal with food and stuff like that, y'all. Cause I was just trying to open a food truck. I don't know if I'm gonna open a food truck or not, y'all. But I have been work, still working on my hair products and stuff. So I don't know. I might do a food truck, y'all. I don't know. And deliver to people' houses, especially what's going on right now. It'll be really good, you know. And people like don't tell people your ideas or whatever. I don't care. God will bless everybody. If that's your thing and that's what it's supposed to be, yeah, that's how you're going to get blessed or come up, make your money or whatever. Then God going to bless us all and do it. It's a big old world. And they're about to have a food truck. I like to see everybody come up and strive. So. Again, but this y'all, I didn't put no. But I think what it is is the butter that I put in here that got it salty. Cause I used to use. I can't believe it's not butter, but I had said <laughs> since I ain't putting no other kind of salt in here, cause the seasoning. I was just here to bring that seasoning in here. I ordered it off Amazon. I can't think of the name of it, y'all, but uh, it um. 
it's lemon pepper, but it don't have no salt in it. And I tried to put stuff in here that didn't have no salt, but that butter, I guess that butter, or well, it just tastes salty to me because I ain't been eating salt. So it could be one or the other, you guys. Bite. That is so good. That is delicious. Delicious, yo, yo, This corn is really sweet too, y'all. Black History Month to everybody. I mean, to everybody. Like, to all my people and everybody else. We use Black History Month to come together as one. As God, children, and human beings. Not as skin color. Sausage. Y'all know how I like this for and my, you know what? It's the sausage that's made this salty. I should have cooked this separate. I shouldn't have cooked the sausage in the bag with that. Lesson learned. Lesson learned. It's the sausage. Popped up on my phone. I might have to cut this video short. What's going on? Mm. Y'all ain't already black. I don't know how to put this on like that. Like, like cameras. I had cameras and everything. I bought all that stuff. I'm looking at B Love, green screen, and all that. I don't know how to work now. Then I saw her son say, you can use your phone. So I've been using my phone ever since. I might need to have to delete something. But I don't know what it had said. Yeah. Yeah, it popped down to what I had looked at. <laughs> but I just wanted to bring y'all something. I was going to get ready to eat anyway. And I know I haven't brought y'all nothing. In a couple of days, well, not a couple of days, but a couple of weeks. Let me stop that line. A couple of weeks. Yeah, yeah, I like this sauce too, but I think I might have to stop uh, using this too because it got a lot of sodium in it. But it's, it's good, y'all. It's sweet. It's sweet. It's like, it's a honey fridge, but you, you get that sweet and you get the tangy. After taste, and it is so delicious. I had discovered this at this place called Snooks. <laughs> Give me a couple of bites of this salad, too, y'all. Got me some broccoli in here, too. I had added the broccoli because this salad I had got from uh, Sam's Club. 
And um, it had no black in it, so I had added some broccoli to it. Put a little lemon on it. Oh my God, it looks so good. This y'all buy it. Because y'all my favorites. And y'all keep sticking in here with me. Don't worry. Don't worry. Right, guys. I'm going to get you another one. But this time, I ain't going to be flooding this thing with it. It might be too big for my mouth. Let's see. I'm cold. Yeah, then I had said I was gonna get my fingernails a break because like by how this one here they keep breaking down and I keep cause the place I was going to is like they never broke my nails like that. And I had long nails, my real nails was on. And he always took care of now it's like they just like trying to get their money or something. I don't know what it is, but I guess cause it's limited people could come in a day. Or whatever, and but they still ain't doing right. But yeah, so I'm, I sound like getting a break until like the beginning of next month, and or something, you know, a couple of weeks, a couple of weeks. I give it a couple of weeks, and then I'm uh, go get them done. But I'm gonna have to be there, yeah. I'll be there early in the morning, trying to be there before anybody get there, you know. So. I know y'all said, y'all, you be making all that food you don't eat, man. I do eat, y'all. I just eat all during the day. That's what that is. Snack, 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 snack here and there. Well, that's what it is, them sausages. And I can't even find them sausages, y'all. I been trying to find them sausages yesterday, and they made my food sausage. I'm going to talk about something serious. And I ain't going to stay on it long. Life is too short to hold grudges against people. Especially if this person is trying to help you and tell you what's for real. I notice these days, being fake is being real. You see what I'm saying? Like, if you tell the truth about stuff... Then you mess it. If you see something going wrong with somebody and you bring it to their attention, these days it's not, it's being messy, man, your business and all that mess. And I'm a type of person, if you see me doing something wrong or, or um, you're doing something wrong to me, I'm doing something wrong to you. You come and talk to me. Don't go behind my back talking about everybody, talking to everybody. I'm doing you wrong. I'm doing this and this. But you can't tell people nothing these days because if it's what they want to do, that's what they're going to do. No matter who they stab in the back, no matter what, that's what they're going to do. But then you always got cheerleaders. You always going to have cheerleaders, you guys. Somebody that's going to cheerlead these people on to egg up 
whatever's going on, like the kids in the playground, you know. And it all comes from deep envy and jealousy and or some people just don't want to hear the truth because they want to you can't play in the devil's playground and play holy at the same and, and, and serve God too. That's all I'm saying. It's like, you know, and I'm a type of person, y'all, I, whatever I got to say, I'm going to say it to you. Sometimes I might not say it the right ways, but I'm going to say it to you because I'm not trying to be, I don't see these days people get so offended about their own situations. I know my situations. I know my faults. And I thank God that he, I'm that type of person that's awake to myself and awake to my situations. I'm not per perfect. I love God. But I'm not perfect. I'm still a sinner. So, I ain't going to say I'm a sinner, you guys, but I'm not perfect. Because I don't, I do things that, you know, normally everyday life, you make mistakes. But, God working on me. So, it's like, don't, how can I say this? People, I'm trying to say things as calm as I could because people take everything out of proportion. Like, you know, people will hold grudges forever and a day and they just don't want to hear the truth. And I just, I'm the type of person, if you see me doing something wrong, tell me what I'm doing wrong so I can fix myself. You understand me? So I can fix me. I am 52 years old and I pray to God that he never, ever, ever stopped me from learning. I want him to put a lesson in somebody, a uh, 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 mukbang, uh, something on TV, a song on the radio. Or I listen to, at night time, I listen to prayer music to help me sleep. Like, you know, you listen to the rain, I listen to prayer. It's like a prayer sleep uh, thing I listen to. Always give me the knowledge. Always, I just want God to keep knocking on my head and send people in my life to knock on my head. And never, I, I was the one to keep giving me the strength to never get offended. You know, and then they would get offended. Don't get offended about your own situation. I know this video probably going to start or whatever, but I'm not a, I'm not a saint. And ain't none of us a saint. And I'm not saying that. And if I speak to somebody about something, it's because of some knowledge that I know or something that I've been through. Not because I'm trying to judge people or not because I'm trying to make people... See, people like to put people down a lot to make they self feel big. You know, I don't have the biggest house. I don't have the biggest car. I don't have a husband. But that don't make me. I'm a woman of God. You understand what I'm saying? So, therefore, I, um, I am very confident in myself, you guys. Very confident. And I don't try to use my confidence to make any people feel, nobody else feel down. My confidence is for me. My confidence is that I know that I'm a woman of God. It's not because how I look or if I got a big booty or if I got a car or if I got a big old house. Or if I even get rich off YouTube. It's not about that. I could be rich off YouTube and still don't be happy. I could be rich off, any, any, God could bless me with anything. And I still don't be happy. All the money in the world. Happiness come within you. So therefore, I'm going to be happy. And I'm always going to be confident no matter what. So when people need those things to make them feel better, they feel some type of way about you. So therefore, when you do speak up for yourself after you get tired or whatever, I'm going to leave that where it's at. Um... People would group together. Those people that need those things, they would group together. And they would try to make you feel less than what you are. Never, 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 ever, ever, ever fall into that. Never fall into that. Always know that you are a woman or a man of God. No matter what nationality, no what race you are. No politics or religion. Just always know that you are a man and a woman and a human being of God. And you always supposed to feel good about yourself, no matter what situation you're in or what you have in your life. Because God knew you was going to be there before you even knew you were going to be there. You see what I'm saying? So, the devil will send people or situations or things in your life to discourage you. 
to say, oh, this is happening in my life, or this is happening in my life, and this bad day defines my life. It don't define your life. Sometimes a bad day is a test. You see what I'm saying to God? To put your faith and your strength. And you always, even like you might even have a situation with you and one, a loved one. He always going to send people or different situations to try to stir that up. To try to get in your head to make you feel like. Or say, oh, be against this person. Be against it. Oh, y'all can't work it out. Or this and this and this. Or this person. And people think you're crazy because you speak the truth. The world is so fake and phony. A lot of people are so fake and phony and followers that you speak the truth. They offended. They offended. And it's just like really crazy to me. Like that you can't be a real person in the world today. And you can't even forgive people no more, you guys. Like, I forgive everybody. And I, I I wish everybody else would forgive everybody. Like, because sometimes we think, oh, well, this person done this to me. Or this person is snake. This person backstabbing me. Or this person done this to me. Or whatever. Or, you know. And, and like I said, a lot of people think because you speak the truth, you, you're doing them wrong. Or, you know, you give them advice on Or you try to stop them from getting a... Uh, a effed up situation, you're doing them wrong or you messy or whatever. But, you guys, it's, it's, I just want y'all to like, people, forgive people, forgive people for yourself. But in the same token, don't, people will, you will forgive people and people will take that as a weakness. They will use that as their strength to say, okay, well, I did this to this person. Or I did this to this person and um, this person keep forgiving me. And they were using as their strength because of whatever that's going on with them is, is, is not making them feel strong. So therefore they need somebody to bring it down on. So therefore you guys still forgive people. But have your boundaries. Speak up. Speak up like okay I've been dealing with this for a while. So therefore now you need to slow it down. And it's always going to be birds of feathers that flocks together. But anyway, you guys, I am going to leave that conversation where it's at. I'm just saying, like, always be a person. Always be a person of God, you know. No matter what people do and people, like I said, haters and negative people and, excuse me, and people that got things against you, they will come together and they will flock up together with you. But God could spread them apart. As long as you know that you're doing what you're supposed to do in your life and you've been good to people and you keeping it real and things like that, don't worry about it. But, okay, I said I was going to leave that conversation alone. But anyway, you guys, so, yeah, oh, my God. Y'all, it is so much snow. I know y'all can't see that because you can't even see how sad it's so much snow. It is so much snow in Rockford, Illinois. Today, y'all, I had tried to go and get everything I needed. And, you know, for a couple of days, that way I won't have to go out, you guys, so... I don't think I did go get the stuff in my hair product. Because when I got down there to the start, I went to the what's the name? It's like everybody outside and so many people. So I'm like, okay, I can wait to do my hair product. I still got a couple of bottles left. So them will last me a couple of days. But, you know, I really don't get, um, like now, like this, this y'all, this snow outside people, because my hair product, it lasts a while. So I really have. Like, um, certain people that get it all the time and certain people like samples and don't buy it. But anyway, um, yeah, so anyway, I'm going to put it on hold. So, or just ship it out because my mailman, you know, he'll take it out for me and stuff. So, I'm going to make another batch soon, you guys. So, if anybody want to order some. Well, you know what? I ain't ready to sell it on YouTube yet. I ain't ready to sell it on YouTube yet. But anyway, you guys, thanks for coming out. Y'all said you didn't eat nothing. All you did was talk. But sometimes you need to talk and get off, especially when you, Sometimes you need to talk and get stuff off you. And that's what I got my smackers for. And if any one of you guys need to talk and get things off your chest or whatever, you know, and vent. Y'all, you guys, I ain't going to say vent like that. You know, come with no BS. You know, you about to, you know, come with no BS. But. You, you know, want my opinion or things or whatever. Or need to talk or just talk. You don't even have to get my opinion. 
Just talk, you know. Just leave a message. Like, I feel like I want to scream. And that's what you put on there. Okay, you guys? Bite. I'm going to eat a couple of more bites of stuff, you guys, for you guys. Y'all know I'm still down by the middle. <laughs> I bought some today. Once I open it, the texture. Mm. So what's some good movies y'all been watching? What's some good movies? I know y'all should see them around. I'm off. I need to get back focused. Y'all need something to watch because I'm still finna be in this house. Y'all, it's the shop back on. Yeah, it's the shop back on. I love the shop. I've been so busy watching what's going on in the world, y'all. And there's a mess. I make the point, I don't know who I can trust. Yeah, I don't want to help y'all people. I don't go to politics, but people need that money. Yeah. In my side shoveling, y'all. I'm gonna get ready to end this video. My little um, apartment complex. Anyway, my smackers, I love you guys. I thank you for supporting me. I'm Lua, y'all. I'm Lua. Oh, oh. I just can't eat like everybody else eat. Like, I can't eat all that salt and stuff every day. And like I said, I know y'all don't want to see, see salads every day. And this is not a talking show. This is an eating show. I know it's not an ASMR. But it's not a, uh, you know. So, I be feeling like, mm, I don't want to eat salads every day. My dick's keep trying to get me, um... To um, stand up, not stand up, to um, 